The coordinate plane is made up of four quadrants. Now in elementary school, you only focused on this first quadrant because you only dealt with positive numbers. Okay, so you would, I know there's um, different ways your teacher probably taught you, like you would crawl before you walk. I like to say you walk to the elevator before you go up and down, especially with four quadrants, because now you can walk left or right and then up or down the elevator can take you up or down, right? But there's different ways to remember that. Some people say, oh, the plane goes down the runway before it takes off into the air. So there's different ways of remembering that you move left to right first before you go up and down. But now in middle school, you learn all four quadrants. So not only do you plot points in this first quadrant, you plot points in three other quadrants, right? So now your coordinate plane is not just this part, it is all four quadrants, okay? Now we, when, when we look at a coordinate plane, this is your x-axis, this is your x, the horizontal axis is x, and this is your y-axis. And then the origin is that center point right there, which is zero, zero, that's where you start. Okay, so whenever I give you an ordered pair like these over here, you always walk left or right to the elevator before it takes you up or down. So that's one way for you to remember that you always go left or right first before it can take you up or down. Okay, now if you look at this coordinate plane, each this tally is not one, the one's way over here. If you look, since to get to the one, you need to go one, two, three spaces. So these are in thirds. Okay, because it takes you three hops to get to one hole. So this is one third, two thirds, and then of course three out of three is a hole. And then this would be one and one third, one and two thirds, two holes, two and one third, two and two thirds, three holes. So these are thirds. These are going in thirds. All right. Well, let's talk about the quadrants real quick before we plot any points. Now, this first quadrant, the one you learned in elementary school are just positive and positive numbers. So your x is positive and your y is positive, right? So you go right and you go up to plot your points. This next quadrant right here, quadrant two. Now the quadrants, they're numbered counterclockwise. They go this way. You start with one here, then you move over here to two, then three, then four. So it goes the opposite direction of a clock, okay? So this is quadrant one, here's quadrant two. Well, if you open quadrant two up, your x, you have to go negative. You gotta go to the left before you go up. So your x is negative and your y is positive. So here you would put x is a negative number and y is a positive number, okay? Then you move down to quadrant three here. Quadrant three, if you were to if you were to plot a point in quadrant three, you would have to go left, which is negative, and then the elevator would have to take you down, which is also negative. So it's negative and negative. So your x is negative, and your y is also a negative number. And then our last quadrant here, quadrant four, you can see you get to move right, which is positive. To land on quadrant four, you'd have to move right and then down. Right? So then it's positive and then negative. So then your x is positive, but your y is a negative number. Now let's plot some points in our coordinate plane. Okay, and so these are the points we're going to plot. So our first point, point A, is going to be 2 and 1 third. So remember, the first number, which is our x, tells us how many steps we walk to the elevator. The second number tells us how many floors up or down the elevator takes us. So if we have to walk 2 and 1 thirds, we have to go, start from the origin, we have to go to the right, two holes and 1 third right there. And then we, the elevator takes us one floor up. So from here we go one floor up, which stops right there where the first floor is, right? And then you put a point right there. This is where A would be, okay? Let's look at the second point, negative one and then one and two thirds. So remember, the first number tells us how many steps to walk. Negative one means one step to the left, and then the elevator takes us up one and two thirds. So we start at the origin, we go one step to the left, and the elevator takes us up one and two thirds of a floor. So it goes up one floor, and then two thirds of the way it breaks down. So it stops at one and two thirds, which is right there. 
that's going to be point B. Okay? All right, let's look at point C. Point C, we go two steps to the left, and the elevator takes us up two and two thirds. So then we start at the origin, we go two steps to the left, and the elevator takes us, oh, I'm sorry, not up, it goes down two and two thirds. So we walk to the left, and then we go down one floor, two floors, and then one third, two thirds. There's two and two thirds right there. So we go left two, we walk to the elevator, two steps to the left, and goes down two and two thirds of a floor. And this is where C would be. Okay? Our last point that we're going to plot is one and two-thirds, sorry, the three got cut off there, one and two-thirds, so we walk one and two-thirds to the right, and the elevator takes us down three floors. So we walk one and two-thirds, so here's one whole step, and then one-third, two-thirds, there's one and two-thirds, and then it brings us down three floors, one floor, two floors, three floors, right there. So that's where point D would be. Okay. So that's how we plot our points on the coordinate plane. The first number is the x-axis, the second number is the y-axis. This tells you how many steps right or left to go, and the second number tells you up or down, kind of like an elevator.